Welcome to Anderson and Ipswich. I'm your host, Dudley Anderson. And I'm your co-host, John Ipswich. The drunken reviewer. That's right, baby. <laughs> Bring it on! Today we're going to review the trailer of Gus Van Sant's latest work, Paranoid Park. <laughs> which, <laughs> which has virtually no known actors. Like every other one of his films, come on! <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> He never uses any name actors in his films. This guy, he finds his fucking talent either in gym class or a, on the street or sometimes he also yeah. fondles them. I mean, <coughs> finds them. A Freudian slip okay. there. That. He finds them at the YMCA. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That Come on. Okay, let's leave it. Let's, let's see what this is. There's something that happened to me. I thought so. What I would do is, I'd write a letter. Save it, send it, burn it. It just feels good to have it all out. One day, halfway through math class, there was an announcement. What we have is a possible murder situation. Take a look at these pictures and you're gonna understand why we're here. I had tried to put this part out of my mind, but the picture brought it all back. We should go check out Paranoid Park. I don't think I'm ready for Paranoid Park. Yeah, but no one's ever really ready for Paranoid Park. I liked it right away. Train hoppers, guitar punks, throwaway kids, they'd built the park all by themselves. So where do you guys live? Right here, man. So you want to ride a train, man? Alright. What was I going to do? I really wanted to ride a freight train. Woo! You like this, man? You digging it? Well, hide, man, hide, hide. Police are investigating a grisly scene at the central train yard near downtown Portland. I'm sure you act weird sometimes, because you'd think after what we did, you'd be a little more happy to see me. I talked to your friend Jared. He says you almost went by the skate park on the night of the 17th. Let me tell you what my situation is. We have a witness that says he saw somebody throw something over the bridge into the river. We happen to have that object, and it's a skateboard. If you have anything to add, give, give me a call. call. Well, John, what do you think about the trailer? Did it, did it give you an idea of what the movie's going to be about? Yeah, it gave me an idea, you know, like it used the, uh, the blue filter and the, like the, um, the, the, the graphics, you know, the titles were all like misty. So I think it's, you know, it's a murder mystery. Murder mystery. A murder mystery, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know. My favorite part of the trailer was when they were skating. That skating. was it. Skateboarding. You thought this, that was realistic? I thought it was the most realistic. I thought, you know, the full pipe thing with the music going in the uh, park where they were skateboarding, I thought, you know, that's, that is the movie right there. It's a skateboard mm -hmm. flick, and it's real. Yeah, but talking about realism, I, I, I don't necessarily agree. Because they said that these kids built that park. There's no way 13, 14 year old kids would build build a park like that. Yeah, well, you know, Gus Van Zandt is kind of full of shit, isn't he? Because they didn't build that park. Anyone from fucking the Portland area knows that that was fucking Burnside, Gus Van Zandt. <laughs> well, there you it go. It was Burnside, whatever. <laughs> it was the Burnside Skateboard Park. They didn't fucking build it, but he says the kids built it, whatever. I'll try to forgive you. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking about realism too, what did you think of the uh, performance of the cop, the investigator? I thought that was some of the most horrifying acting. What cop? I've, I've ever seen. What cop? What cop? The cop who investigated. That fucking the Samoan. <laughs> Go back to Hawaii, motherfucker. 
You know, like, you're not a fucking actor, dude. Gus Van Zandt, where'd you get this guy? Out of the fucking phone book? Let's go. Come on! Okay. Go back right. to Hawaii! All right, All right John, let's, let's uh, not get nasty here. If you want to talk about unrealistic acting, why don't we talk about that fucking Avril Lavigne chick, all right? The Avril Lavigne lookalike. I don't know why you fucking cast her. What did she say? Oh... You, you you sure do act weird, because after what we did, you you think you'd be a little more happy to see me. <laughs> yeah, Avril. Except right. for the fact that he's gay. <laughs> Come on, man. This is a Gus Van Zandt kid, man. Come on. Right. He's gay. Okay. What do you want? All right, John. I think you've made your point. Um, did you notice the uh, the Mike Pitt look alike um, in in the beginning? I thought that was pretty funny to see. The Mike Pitt look-alike. Yeah. What? The you guy. Mean, the guy was like, "You'll never be ready for Paranoid Park." You'll never be ready for Paranoid Park. Yeah. How many kids can you fucking put in a military jacket, Gus Van Sant, and pass them up? It's Michael Pitt. I don't know, but keep on trying. Yeah. All right. Would you Would you go see the movie based on the trailer? Well. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because part of me says that this fucking trailer is real, and the other part of me says it's full of shit. Like that part where they were in the fucking, they were jumping on the train, and it was a 12-year-old boy and a 35-year-old fucking, uh, you know, uh, squatter. That's real, man. That is real. Like, I've jumped trains before, man, and that shit does happen. It does happen. I mean, personally, I've never been accost accosted by a security guard, uh -huh. and I've never been convicted of murder. Okay. But... All right, so I think it's real. I think it's not real. I think some of the acting sucks. Okay. I think a lot of the acting sucks. I think some of the Gus Van Sant is a powerful filmmaker for a pedophile. My only question is whether or not you can tell a difference okay, anymore John, between I, Larry okay, Clark okay, and okay, Gus right. Van Sant. Yeah. I feel like right. I saw this movie. Larry Clark did a movie called Oh What's Up, Rock? Okay. I don't feel Which, comfortable at all calling Gus Van Sant a pedophile. Well, they will call him a pederast. He's a pederast. Okay. Come right. on. John, he likes John, birds. Okay. He likes fucking muck the birds. John, John let's, let's find a conclusion here. Would you go see the movie, yes or no? If somebody paid me to see it, or I happened to catch it for free on the internet. You know what I'm saying? All right.